Hello everybody and welcome back to another how-to video for Fallout 76. In today's video I'll be showing you how to find all of the Nuka Colas such as Nuka Wild, Nuka Dark, Nuka Grape, Nuka Orange, and the two new ones in the newest DLC Wastelanders, Nuka Cherry and Nuka Scorch. The first location you want to go to is a town called Fraternity, right by the vault Tech University, or Morgantown. Here you will find a variety of Nuka-Colas. Once you have arrived, you might see a house with the letter M on it, and a red door. You do not want to enter that house because it's not the right house. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to hit up here, careful, there's going to be some low level ghouls, shouldn't be too hard to kill. Once you clear out most of the ghouls, you might see a house with a blue door and some blue decorations. This is called the ETA PSI house. Now what you want to do is you want to go inside of course. Once inside, you'll probably see a robot just roaming around. And you also should see a door that says employees only. What you want to do is you want to go through that door. And you should find a pretty unique room with only two Nuka Colas. For me, there was only a Nuka Orange and a normal Nuka Cola. We're going to try another server. After my second attempt, the door was already open, so I was pretty worried. But thankfully, most of the Nuka Colas were here, but the Nuka Wild was missing for some reason. But the Nuka Wild will be here. Also, if you're interested, you can pick up some souvenirs. Don't forget to pick up the bottle caps next to the bed. As I was editing this video, I decided to do a bit more research to see if there's any more locations for the Nuka Grape, Nuka Orange, Nuka Dark, and the Nuka Wild. And there was. If you go to White Springs, there should be a merchant inside called Bubbles. And finally, I have found Bubbles. Wow, that's a pretty high price for these Nuka Colas. Mm, I don't think I'll be buying these. I think you're better off taking them from the first location. The next Nuka Cola we're gonna get is called Nuka Scorched. With this one you can actually craft it at a chemistry table. It does require some material. The way to unlock the recipe is you have to follow the Overseer's quest line in the new Wastelanders update. If you haven't done that already, then you need to do that to get your hands on Nuka Scorch. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like during the mission. If you don't want to, skip ahead. It is a little spoiler, but it's not a big deal. Once you have two crates of Nuka Scorch, you have to give it to the two factions. The people at the foundation and the people at the crater. Once you do that, you should have unlocked the recipe for Nuka Cola Scorched. The next Nuka Cola we're going to find is Nuka Cranberry. The location you want to head over to is Kanawa Nuka Cola Plan. I probably said that wrong, I do apologize. And once you have arrived, you want to be careful inside and out because there is ghouls, pretty high level. So you want to bring a friend or at least be a high level. And once you are inside the building, you want to be very careful. As I said, there is a bunch of ghouls in here that are high level. There's like level 60s, level 40s. So do be careful if you are a low level.
what you want to do is you want to head to the right and there should be a flight of stairs and there should be a locked door. Open that door and be very careful there is ghouls in there as well. Once you kill those schools, there should be a Nuka Cranberry on this shelf right here. And congratulations, you got your first Nuka Cranberry. The next location you want to head over to for a Nuka Cranberry is a place called the Kill Box. It's right across from Nugad. What you want to do is you want to make your way around the east side of the building. And you should see a shack stairs leading up and there should be a hole in the wall go through the hole and do be careful there is blood eagles in here they're not too hard to kill I thought I could kill them with my new legendary uh, axe but I had to pull up the old 50 cal <laughs> So once they are, most of them are dead, you should see a Nuka Cranberry on top of these wooden crates. And there you go, you have a second Nuka Cranberry. The next location you want to head over to is Hornwright Estate. You want to head up the road just a little bit and then turn right. When you turn right, you should be heading south. Once you head a little bit towards south, you should be coming across a little house and beside the house should be a greenhouse. Go inside the greenhouse and underneath the metal cart whatever you call it, there should be a Nuka Cherry waiting for you right there. The last Nuka Cranberry is going to be a little bit more hard to get considering this area is part of the quest line for the Wastelanders. So you're going to be pretty lucky if you can get your hands on this one. What you want to do is you want to head over to a place called Ammo Dump. Here it is on the map. And uh, do be careful coming here because you will be jumped by uh, two machine guns and there will be only uh, two creatures well there's gonna be a human NPC and then there's gonna be uh, a dog that wants to attack you so do be careful Alright, once you deal with everything around the place, you want to go inside the trailer and on the desk, 
there should be a bottle of Nuka Cola cranberry. Unfortunately, I've tried this three times, four times, you know, server hopping, and I still didn't get it. That's because it is a common place for players now, since it is part of the main quest. Uh, not the cranberry itself, but just the area. So you might not get lucky. You might. So keep trying to keep server hopping. You might get it. Hey guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, there will be more how to videos for Fallout 76 coming soon. Uh, if you like this stuff, give it a like. You know, it means a lot to me, and it, you know, shows me that I'm doing good with this type of stuff. Um, you know, be sure to subscribe to support me, and that way you don't miss any of my uh, useful how-to videos. And I am thinking to do a Fallout 4 series once I get enough of you guys watching me. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.